It is known to me that my grandmother and great-grandmother were skilled at healing and spell casting. Does this suggest an automatic right to magical abilities for their granddaughter, or should there be a certain ritual of power transfer? How can one find out if any ritual had taken place? Can a granddaughter choose her own magical path, or should she follow the path of her ancestors? Well, look, colleague, here you need to listen to yourself and answer the question, is there an ancestral gift or ancestral power within you? The presence of the ancestral power manifests itself as an extreme calling to perform the exact same craft, as if it were above you. Just imagine that you are a chain smoker and suddenly you are deprived of your favorite treat. This is almost how it would feel like if you were not able to do your craft. Up to the shakiness in your hands, up to blood spots in your eyes, meaning that I'll die if I don't cook up something right away. I will die if I don't go right now into a moonlight midnight to gather some herbs, the most poisonous ones. It is above you. That's the way ancestral witch powers usually manifest themselves. That is why the concept of you doing something or not doesn't exist, meaning that you are either drawn to it or not. If it doesn't attract you, then no obligation exists and you are free to choose any magical path. It is up to you. Does this represent a right to magical activity? Here we would need to look and see. It may be presented or it may simply be suggested, because the right will eat you up inside just the same if you don't exercise it, especially if it is an ancestral right. Because if a right is not being manifested, it may be passed on to someone else or it may fade away completely. And this won't be very good for the ancestor who confirmed that right after himself and consequently passed it on to you. It would be considered as if you were voluntarily refusing the gifts, and by doing so, devaluing them, stating that what kind of right is it? It is not right at all, some sort of nonsense. That is why if you feel this power, if you feel it within you, then you know that if there is power, there is a right. If there is a right, there will be power. That will be my response to you, because if you are not drawn to your ancestral skill, just ask yourself, what is a feeling inside you that is only yours? Something that you can describe as comparable to a nicotine or a drug withdrawal, something that you can't live a day without. And then perhaps start looking for your magical calling in that direction.